o saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. in TV, CCTN New Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Unuhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Kapulisan o garbadong kusog sa nasod na ngandam na sa umabot ng barangay o escalations. Dini mumilo sa isinta mil ka mga pasayro ang gipaabot ng mudagsa sa mga terminal din sa subo. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Newsang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, nagsugod na sa pagpangandam sa umaabot nga barangay o sanguriang kabataan elections karong tuiga. Ang Visayas Command kung Viscom, ingon man ang uh, Philippine National Police o Coast Guard at sa ilang uh, First Quarter Visayas Joint Peace and Security Coordinating Meeting nga gipahigayon na ito may aging adlaw. Sa report sa APC Visayas, moabot sa 158 ka mga dapit din sa Tibuo Kabisayan ang nabutang sa election watchlist areas din 37 ni ini ang naa sa region size, 63 ang naa sa region 7 o 58 sa region 8. Sa 158 ka mga iwas sa Visayas, 40 ni ini, nabutang sa classification nga areas of concern. Lumintay dos ni ini, ang classified is areas of immediate concern ingon man banti size ni ini ang classified nga isip areas of grave concern 70 million pesos nga pundo nga na-propose na ni Congresswoman Emery Lulipap Uwano Dizon nga to sa Department of Public Works and Highways aron pagtukod og administrative building ingon man kusina sa bagong Mandawi City Jail ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino Gipahibaw ni Atty. Gonzalo Maligon, Chief of Staff ni Congresswoman Emery Lollipop Uwano Dizon, nga anaa sa 70 milyones pesos ang pondo sa pagpatukod sa administrative building o kusina sa bagong city jail sa Dungguan, Barangay Basak sa Siyudad sa Mandawi. Ang bagong presuhan partially operational na, nagkuwang na lang kini og administrative building o kusina aron hingpit na makompleto. Mato ni Maligon nga napropose na sa kongresista ang 70 milyones pesos nga sa Department of Public Works and Highways aron pasod sa ilang budget sunod tuig. Uh, we hope nga ma eventually ma fundingan kay kaning program nga gi-propose ni Kong sa DPWH mo subject pa man sa budget process sa Congress. Matud ni ini nga ang kantidad na suta human gibisita sa DPWH 6 district ang bagong city jail ni aging tuig pinaagi na usab sa hangyo ni Dizon. Ang syudad nagplano nga motukod sa bagong kampus sa Mandawi City College ngadto sa daang city jail sa Barangay Luok. Yes, oh. Actually ang kan ayud gani ang building with the with the na anak yung building. I think um, it would be easier na manggod nga mas mo, kung sa mulambo bitaw, kung, kung na namang kay building you can actually expand yung anak ba. So it's it's different manggod karon because the space is really limited. So as much as you want to expand, especially when the population is growing, you cannot do that because our, as you can see, our facilities or mo ang space ba, shared manggod sa ubansan nga mga department sa LGU. So ang ato ang movement ko an sad limited. Nabalhin na ang Kapin City Sintos ka persons deprived of liberty sa bagong city jail apan nagpabilin gihapon ang dulan usa ka libo ka PDL sa karaang prisuhan. Mary Rose Sagarino, CCTN News. Dili mo minus 60 mil ka mga pasahero ang gipaabot nga mudagsa sa Cebu South Bus Terminal sa musunod nga mga adlaw hangtod na sa Simana Santa. Kini ang gibanabana ni Carmen Quijano, ang pangulo sa Cebu South o North Bus Terminal, kinsa ni siguro nga gipangandaman na sa management ang pagdagsa sa mga pasahero. Gawa sa mga pagsiguro nga limpyo ang mga terminal, gihangyo usab ni Quijano sa Kapitulyo ang pagpuno og mga security personnel nga makaabag sa seguridad sa kapsay sa pagbiyahe. So by na ini, nanawagan usap si Kihano sa mga konduktor o sa tanan nga mga bus nga magpabiling kalmado o siguroon nga hapsay ang pagsakay sa mga pasahiro. 
Lapu-lapu si TPNP mitambag sa ilang mga personnel nga paniguroon ang kahimsog sa ilang panglawas kini labi na kadtong mga ma-deploy sa kadalanan tungod sa kainit sa panahon. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Gitambagan sa City Director sa Lapalapo City Police Office kanil CPO ang iyong mga personnel na siguro ng kahimsang silang panglawas. Kinitaliwa sa naglagiting kainit sa panahon, sila binakad ng mga polis nga madistinos kadalanan. Suman ni Police Colonel Elmer Lim, City Director sa LCPO, nga importanteng mamintinar ang himsog nga panglawas aron mahimog ihapon nila ang ilang mga trabaho, sila binasa pagmintinar sa kahapsay o kalinaw sa syudad. Panahon na kainit yun, no? Akong advice sa uh, ito ang uh, mga personnel, ato yung health no? priority. Mawagin na ako ang exulti during the flag raising ceremony, during our staff conference. Our health is our priority kay sa akong may pag-render o ganang effective na policing kung ikaw mismo masakiton ka, no? Subay so, ni tambag ni Lin ngadas mga polis nga madistino sa mga kadalanan nga dili magpalabi sa pagbuwad sa init aron malikayan ang heat stroke ug uban pa mga sakit nga matrigger sa init nga panahon. Dili ma, ma dili magbulag gyud sa maong uh, init no o expose masyado sa init kay ma stroke di ba? So mao na ako ang mga panawagan sila nya always good nga kining gitawag na tog healthy living. Ang ngayon usab nga mukao ng mga sustansyado nga pagkaon o kanunay nga mag-exercise aron mapaligo ng ilang immune system o garon sila malikay sa mga sakit na siren nga base sa forecast sa pag-asa Visayas, gibanabana nga mukabat sa 32 degrees Celsius ang maximum temperature nga masinati sa Metro Cebu area. Fatch and Thinny in so CCTN News. So si Hone si City Mayor Michael Rama ang posibleng paglakip sa mga job order employee sa service incentives o charter day bonus human nga giaprobahan ang supplemental budget sa City Council niadtong Merkoles alang na kini sa mga regular o mga kasual nga mga kawani. Si Konsihal Noel Winceslao nagkanayon nga ang kertibukan nga kantidad moabot sa kapin sa 67 million pesos alang sa general fund nga nauyuna na ni Adto yaging adlaw sa 62 milyones ni ini gigahin usab alang sa bonus sa mga empleyado samtang ang nahabilin nga kantidad alang na sa reimbursement sa nagkadaiyang departamento adunay kapin sa 5000 ka mga regular o casual nga mga empleyado ang Cebu City Hall Mao kadto atong mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngat sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi eh, ang atong Sire 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTA Chapel. Daghang salamat.
Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, 
who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of Christ. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at last to the fullness of His grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lusting and forgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord.
from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For, for which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself a God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, the life of a prophet is never easy. A prophet is entrusted with a mission to proclaim the good news and to denounce evil. The latter obviously causes division, contradiction, and even persecution. Not everyone is attuned to the truth. Not everyone is willing to change for the better. In our first reading, the prophet Jeremiah expresses his laments and fears due to the lack of positive response on the part of the people 
to the message he brings, including those who are close to him. Jeremiah says, All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. It is worth noting that despite all these difficulties, Jeremiah found refuge and consolation in the Lord who sent him. The Lord is with me like a mighty champion. Praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Such drama can also be seen in the Gospel reading, in the life and ministry of Jesus. The Jews picked up rocks to stone him. They simply wanted to get rid of him because he was rocking the boat. Jesus wanted to change their religious system that perpetuated indifference exclusivism, rigidity, and corruption. They wanted to kill Jesus, not only for the nuances of his revelation about God, but also for his radical claims, making himself equal with God. Jesus is accused of blasphemy by the religious leaders of the day because of his intimate union with the God of Israel, whom he calls his father and which leads to a radical claim of his being the Son of God, not in a metaphorical sense, but in a real sense, in a literal sense. And so we ask, what lessons can be drawn from our liturgical readings today? Allow me to underline these two points. First, as Christians, we have to remember that we are all called to participate in the prophetic mission of Jesus. Kitang tanan gitawag sa pagapropeta by virtue of our baptism and our confirmation. In our respective families and communities, we are invited or we are challenged by the Lord to guide others to the right path. We correct mistakes with charity, but above all, we give witness to the gospel values of Christ. In the end, we set a good example for others to emulate. This is truly the most daunting task of a prophet, to give witness to what he or she proclaims. Without witnessing, my dear brothers and sisters, we will never have the integrity and credibility to proclaim the gospel. As Saint Pope Paul VI puts it, modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if he does listen to teachers, it is because they are witnesses. Sa to pa kung ganahan ka ang imong anak, magkinabuhi o maayo, isip ginikanan, maningkamot ka sa pagpupuyo o maayo ang kinabuhi, aron na asay, masunod. If we want to avoid corruption, both in the church and in the civil government or in our government, in our society, we try our best to always be honest in every endeavor that we have, wherever we may be. So kinangla ng witnessing isip mga propeta di ani Kristo. Second, witnessing can only be sustained through an intimate relationship with the Lord through constant prayer. Without divine grace, we can do nothing but sin. Kitang tanan ang inahanglan sa grasya sa Dios. Hence, if you find it difficult to help a person change his or her ways, we pray more for that person. We don't condemn that person, but we pray more. And we ask the Lord for the virtues we need to become credible prophets who can stand up for the truth with patience and charity despite 
the contradictions we may be facing. At the end of the day, my dear friends, we can never force someone to change. Even God does not force himself on anyone. But there are certain things we could always do. To pray sincerely without ceasing and to give witness to the beauty of human freedom directed toward God. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of the Prophets, intercede for us. Amen. Let us all rise for the intercessions. As we draw close to Holy Week, may we withdraw with Jesus from the madding crowd to pray for courage and strength, to face the struggles of the hour of salvation, to become prophets of the modern times. For every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you alone are the Messiah, the Son of God. May we reject self-appointed messiahs, prophets, and teachers who claim to offer salvation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who do not confess, who do not confess you as Christ, find the truth by walking before you with a sincere heart, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who are persecuted on account of God's word, find security and strength in the Lord and help from his faithful ones, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord comfort those who mourn, give strength to all who toil, and hear the cry of those in tribulation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who inflict violence for the sake of amassing riches, and those who either perpetuate or participate in corruption, fear God's judgment, and allow their hearts to be touched by His grace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may be steadfast in following Jesus as He fixes His gaze to go to Jerusalem to accomplish His work of salvation. Send your Holy Spirit to inspire us, that we may faithfully do our prophetic mission in Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, their duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, Midifil and Ruben, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm, through Christ our Lord. Prayer to Señor Santo Niño. O Señor Santo Niño, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are a strong defender. We turn to you. You are the shepherd of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders. Through your miraculous image in these chosen islands, remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Señor Santo Niño, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our bodies, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Señor Santo Niño, that we may feel love toward you. Be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. Supplications to Santo Nino. In every need, it has come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. In the failure of our plans and hopes. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. When our heart is cast down by failure. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Always, always, in spite of weakness, falls and shortcomings of every kind. Let us pray. O Santo Nino, who has said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give, we beseech you, to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom you do solidly establish in your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As one people of God, we pray for the fast recovery of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and we entrust him to the maternal intercession of Mary, Mother of the Church. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Adilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Thank you.